Hi, it's Dr. Maria here, and I'm chatting to Dr. Jarvis today about neurodiversity. And one question we're often asked is what signs and symptoms might make you suspect autism in a child? So when we're looking at autism from its sort of definitions, they're often quite negative when you look at them. They talk a lot about deficits. So we would be looking at difficulties specifically, and I think we need to see for autism difficulties with social interaction and communication. So looking at things like reciprocity, so that backwards and forwards of conversations, whether we initiate and maintain our friendships, those are key, and but they also occur alongside repetitive or restrictive behaviours and inflexibility. So we think about inflexibility of thought, which is struggling to see things from other people's perspectives, always sticking to kind of one opinion, that sort of thing. Okay, so there's quite a lot there to think through, but sort of that those rigid thoughts, some of those social interactions that maybe aren't as expected, and these having an impact on a child that is maybe making it very difficult for them to mix with peers or achieve at school as you'd expect. Absolutely. So that impact, that level of severity that's impacting on their day-to-day -day life, their social interactions and progress with school. Lovely. So if it's having a, a significant impact, then at that stage we think about that's definitely needing your referral. Thank you.